Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So welcome to video two of this video series on how to use AI to multiply your uh, productivity with building your Amazon business by four. And in this video, uh, we're going to explore how to use ChatGPT to help with product research. So let's start by asking the question, what is our goal with product research? Your number one aim as an Amazon seller is to launch a product that customers think is great. We need to add value with our product. We need to offer a product that's better than the competition. We need to give customers a reason to buy our product rather than the competitors. And if we can do this, then what will happen is we'll experience the great product effect. So how does the great product effect work and why is it something you really desperately need to experience as an Amazon seller? So Alan launched his product on Amazon and he experienced the great product effect very quickly. In its second month, the product he launched made £9,000 in sales on his Amazon account. Now, this doesn't happen by accident. This doesn't happen by launching an okay product. Your product has to be great. It has to be a product customers really resonate with, they really want, they really wish they could buy, and it has to be a product that's better than everybody else's. So imagine if you launched a product and it did just even a third of what Alan's product did in its second month and you started to make 3K per month in sales. Like, how exciting, uh, how exciting would that be? Mike launched a great product and now he's got a thousand reviews on his listing. So imagine for a second, you had a product listed on Amazon with a thousand reviews. Would you feel confident you could beat the competition? Would customers feel confident your product is great quality? Of course they would, right? So we really want to experience this great product effect. So how can we use AI to help us make sure we launch great product after great product after great product. So let's say you wanted to sell a spatula, right? Picked a completely random uh, product that you never would have guessed I would have gotten for, right? And let's say, you know, we were thinking about competing with this spatula. What you can do is click on the listing. And the first thing you want to do is go have a look at the reviews and figure out what customers care about with this product. And by looking at the reviews, we can analyze, you know, what customers wish the product did, what they want it to do, what they're angry about because the product didn't do. And from all that data, we can start to figure out how to make our product better and how to make it great. Now, this is quite an arduous process. Quite often, you'll have to go through loads of listings, look at loads of reviews, and it can be difficult to analyze all of this data. Well, now with AI, what we can do is actually extract all the reviews and ask ChatGPT to figure out the data for us. So I'm going to click on the Helium 10 button uh, on my screen. If you haven't got it, it's like $40 for a month. So get it and have a play around. And then you can click this button that says Review Insights. Now, what you can do is if you click on All Reviews, you can actually get Helium 10 to just show you three, two, and one star reviews. All right, so people who are angry about the product, dissatisfied, and you'll see they start to tell you loads of problems that the product has. It's a great starting point for how we can improve it. Then I'm going to click export reviews, and we're going to get a CV, uh, CSV file with all the data. Uh, from the reviews on the page, all right? Then we can grab all of this data, copy it, open up ChatGPT. I'm going to give you a load of review data for a spatula on Amazon. Can you please look at the data and answer some questions so I can improve the product. For some reason, I insist on being really polite to ChatGPT, even though it's just a, a piece of software, but hey. Right, 
So I've just pasted a load of data in there and it's already giving you some ways to create a great product. So I'm gonna ask it, if I wanted to launch a great product that beats this uh, competitor, what would be three things I should offer? So you'll notice some of the suggestions are a little bit off. An advanced water drainage system might not really apply, but ergonomic design for versatility, clearly they really care about that. Premium and durable materials. Now I'm gonna say, why did you choose these three options? Here, it says ergonomic design for versatility. Several reviews mentioned difficulties in using the competitor's spatula due to its angle and thickness. Premium and durable materials, complaints about rust, deterioration and poor quality indicate that the competitor's spatula might not be using the best materials. Now, that's the data from one product on the page. Tells us a little bit, gives us some ideas, but doesn't give us the best product research we possibly can. So if you wanna take this one step further, then what you can do is keep adding data into the mix by taking all of the best sellers, gathering all the data from all of the reviews and entering that into ChatGPT to give you an even better overview of what to improve. Okay, so I've gathered all the negative reviews from all the best sellers on page one, and I'm gonna paste it in to ChatGPT. In fact, before I do that, I'm gonna tell it, I'm gonna give it more information so it knows what to expect. And then I'm gonna paste everything else. Please find me the three most common complaints about the product. Here we go. Fantastic. So after what was about three minutes of gathering some uh, reviews, exporting them, putting them into JackGBT, we've now got, based on all the best sellers on page one, the three most common complaints about the product. Water retention, because the, the spatula retains water. Flimsiness and lack of rigidity mentioned that the spatula feels flimsy or lacks the necessary rigidity for certain tasks and durability and quality. So now we know this, if you were to launch a product that doesn't retain water, right, isn't flimsy and is durable and great quality, what are the chances of being able to get great sales with the product, making a great profit margin, being able to charge more than everybody else and getting loads of positive reviews? Now that we've done this research, we've got such an edge over the competition in this marketplace. And it's so much faster than doing manual product research. Okay, so I hope this video gave you some insight into how you can use AI to actually do some of the key thinking for you inside your Amazon business. And really, we're just scratching the surface here. This is just the second video out of the video series. I'm going to be showing you a lot more strategies. Um, but if you can't wait and you really want to dive into this and, and get more details about how to build your business using AI, why not jump on the waiting list for AI Accelerator? If you click the link in the description below, then you can join the waiting list. And what I'm going to do is allow some people on the waiting list to join AI Accelerator, and then they'll join the beta launch of the program, and they'll get it for a much cheaper price, and they'll be able to test drive it, and we'll use the data and the feedback you guys get from using the program to build a full program in the future. So if you wanna join the waiting list, click the link below, join AI Accelerator, just need to enter your name and your email, and you'll be added to the list, and you'll be uh, informed when you can jump in. All right, so stick around. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna explore how to use AI to help us with the sourcing process to make sure when we contact our suppliers, uh, we're getting products customers will love. 
so hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you click the button below and join the waiting list for AI Accelerator. And I'll catch you very soon.